People who have been to Leonard Lance's other town halls say this was the mildest. Still, it occasionally got raucous. The first question was about the Trump budget and why it cuts Pell Grants, food stamps, Medicaid, and Social Security disability. Regarding the budget document, I, 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 do, I do not support it. There are provisions. Lance laid out his problems with it. I think it's very important, for example, that there be uh, funds in the budget at least to begin the discussion on the Gateway Tunnel, which is important to New, New Jersey and New York. Um, it all comes down to what happens in the appropriations process, he said. And uh, we in New Jersey have, as chairman of the Appropriations Committee, the Congressman Freelingheisen. He is the only New Jersey. A Somerville man said he's a Republican but cannot stand Trump. I think the, uh, the clear criminality of the current administration and lack of outcry. He said the Republican Party is morally bankrupt. I cannot see myself voting for any Republican for any office for the foreseeable future. Instead of defending Trump, Lance said, leave it up to special counsel Robert Mueller. I uh, support the... Uh, Special Counsel, Mr. Mueller. I think that that is a, an excellent step. When will you call out the president and the Republican leadership on the tax returns that should have been released? Yeah. Yeah. I'm of the opinion that the president's tax returns are likely to be subpoenaed by the special counsel. He added, Bob Mueller will do a superb job and let the chips fall where they may. A watch young man said he writes to Lance every day about Trump. This administration is the most foul administration I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Your, your, your comments are similar to your emails. <laughs> Lance said he votes his conscience and he'll support Trump when he agrees with him. He took issue with the president on NATO. I certainly continue to believe that the NATO alliance is indispensable. Thank you. And he stood up for the Paris Accord on climate change. I hope that uh, the administration will not leave the Paris Agreement. He's a lone voice, meaning I didn't come here to just berate him. But I really want him to have a spine, but he doesn't have a coalition in the GOP right now that has a spine. This was like the town halls you see on TV, a lot of anti-Trump sentiment boiling up. What's unclear is how representative this audience is of the general population. I think those who uh, come to my town hall meetings uh, uh, in large part tend to be disappointed with the election of, of President Trump. I can understand that from the perspective of, of some of my constituents. Two issues got standing ovations, Medicare for all and funding for Planned Parenthood. In Cranford, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.